What's up everyone and welcome to FAQ number 78. I'm here in my kitchen. You might see that I have the same t-shirt uh, as I did in the latest FAQ. Let's just call it a miscalculation of uh, laundry day. <laughs> Since I'm here at my house, I don't really have that much uh, clothes here. Maybe you saw that this past week, I uploaded a video of a playthrough video of the song Cerberus and you might have seen that I used a seven string E type Guitar. Cool, huh? So, a guitar today. Solo guitars have unleashed a seven string E type guitar. You can see it right over here. And also a seven string V right over here. Somewhere. So, uh, there you go. Guitar today. You can pre order them right now and they'll ship uh, late March. Cool, huh? So, seven string E, seven string V. You asked for it. Ola, the deliverer. Also, last week I was asking. Uh, if the women were offended by me calling them women, and uh, no, they were not. They commented so nicely on my video saying that they were not offended. You know, that's internet for you. Someone not affected by something gets offended by a potential issue, and no one gives a shit. Great, first question, let's go. Jonathan Denny. Hola, what is your best device for building endurance with rhythm guitar playing? I'm very excited for a new album, impatiently waiting but excited nonetheless. Thanks for thanks and best wishes. Uh, best advice is just to keep at it. I would say that, you know, endurance goes up and down. At least it does for me. I mean, when I'm touring, you know, I'm playing like one and one and a half hours a day, just haunted songs, you know. And that definitely helps my endurance compared to when I'm at home and playing guitar because when I'm at home, I barely play guitar. So endurance comes and goes. But I think the best way is just to play for a longer period of time a day and just keep at it. And also, I don't think it's a bad idea to actually work out. And you know, you get muscles and shit. E5150. I was masturbating when I got my notification. I didn't get to finish, but I am now. Thanks, Ola. Fucking weirdos. The Hoppo. Hey Ola, with running a fledging guitar business, being a YouTuber, a dad, a husband, and basically just being Ola the busy Swede, do you think your guitar playing has suffered? How do you even find time to try and progress and practice? What do you do to manage time to play? Do you think your guitar playing has suffered? My answer is a very big yes. <laughs> it has definitely suffered. But you know, that's a conscious decision that I made. I mean, even though I love playing guitar, Unfortunately, just sitting around and practicing uh, day in and day out doesn't earn me any money. So I took the conscious decision to make more YouTube videos than I play guitar. <laughs> so I can actually make a living. Can you turn on the volume on there? Luis, can you sink a little? Thank My son is playing Selva. He's having a small little meltdown right now. I feel him. Okay. Uh, and now having a house, I mean, yeah. I'm not playing any guitar. That's why you saw me play guitar there earlier, because uh, I haven't played guitar in a week now. So it was fun. Aaron Franklin. Hey Ola, could you give some tips on overcoming stage fright? I seem to freeze up whenever I try and play in front of anyone other than friends. Thank you. Just as with the endurance question, it's all about just doing it over and over again. And uh, also, obviously, to prepare to the best of your ability. I mean, practice, over practice. Make sure you know the songs by heart, you know, inside and out, and you know, when you're sleeping. Then at least you have that part out of the way, you can concentrate on being a rock star or whatever. And I actually saw someone giving a suggestion in the comment section because you subscribers are so fucking awesome. You help each other out. I love that. Thank you so much. Someone gave the suggestion that when you go up on stage, that you take on a different version of you. You become like a Superman version of yourself in that sense. And I thought that was a really cool kind of tip and uh, not something I've done, but uh, I feel that, yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, you go up there, you boast yourself and you know, you're on the top of the world right there. So that might help. Chris Andro, hi Ola, quick question. What's your opinion on Alice in Chains and Jerry Cantrell as a guitarist and his tone? Alice in Chains, I was listening a lot to grunge back in the 90s, but I was never really hooked by Alice in Chains for some reason. I do not know why. Alice in Chains was a band that I started liking way later. Jerry Cantrell has a really 
nice thick tone and uh, specific type of riffs. They, when you hear it, you know it's him. And uh, I, I don't know that many guitar players that you can say that about, so that's really admirable right there. I must say, I really like the later albums that they put out. Black Gives Away to Blue or Blue Gives Away to Black or Blue is the, blue is the blackest of the gray. Uh, I don't remember, but the new singer there, he does a killer job continuing the lame legacy in that sense. So there you go. Love Jerry Cantrell, love Alice in Chains right now. And uh, what is he playing? He's, I think he's an Ernie Ball guy, right? So yes, he's his, uh, no, Ola, that's Steve Morse, you asshole. Uh, Jared Cantrell, what is Jared Cantrell playing? Please help, write in the comment section. I, ha I think he has a Friedman amplifier, if I'm not mistakenly uh, misinformed. Yes, would love to meet him. Maybe a coffee with Ola, that would, ah, oh, that would be awesome. Oh, I have to make that happen. Logan Ox, are you planning on making solo guitars with an Explorer ML or T style body? I'm not sure how new of a subscriber you are, but we have an E type Explorer already. And I, don't, I didn't bring it here to my house, but it's here. Look, it's in my hands. Uh, ML or Tele style body. We'll just have to see. I mean, we can't just release everything at once and you know, it has to make sense for the brand. Tybor, mm. hi Ola, who gave you the most support to play music or become a musician? I mean parents, wife, friends. Did anyone around you was against the idea to make a living from music? Thanks, Tibor. Kind of like from when I started playing guitar, I didn't really have anyone that was pushing me or uh, encouraging me, you know, to keep on playing or like, yeah, come on buddy, like, you can do this, you can become better, blah, blah. I've always been more of a self-centered person that I've, I've been pushing myself. And uh, obviously my parents, very supportive of me playing guitar, but they weren't really encouraging me. Uh, they let it happen by itself. And I think that is a good, that worked for me. You know, it's, it's, it's been like that throughout my whole life, I would say. You know, I've never really had anyone that has encouraged me to do something or pick up something or do anything. I've always kind of like take my own decisions and uh, you know, kind of work my own path in that sense. And obviously my wife and I don't know about my kids, but they all support me <laughs> and what I do. But uh, the whole encouragement thing, it's something that comes from within. And uh, also obviously you guys, you inspire me to keep on doing what I do. And it's nice to know that some people enjoy what I do and you know, the decisions that I made. So uh, thanks guys, I really appreciate it. And that seriously comes from the heart. Cheers, even though it's coffee. Oh, that was a tractor. Na okay, Nav Naventoya Pub, Pavel Goncharov, Cyrillic Slayer, Ola. Okay, Ola, the Cyrillic Slayer of the day. Let's try this one. Na pen ktapweb. Na pen ktapweb. Mr. Shred till dead. Ola, are you a boob man or a butt man? We must know. <laughs> I think I actually answered this question uh, in, a, in an FAQ before. And uh, it's, it's, uh, I don't know. <laughs> My wife's sitting right here. How am I supposed to answer this question? It's not possible. But I like both her uh, boob and, and uh, butt. James Rooker, can you do a live FAQ? I could. And I actually am doing live FAQs, but I'm doing it for my members only, uh, like once a month, uh, month, like once a month, and sometimes one and a half times a month. I just like it way better in that format because it becomes a lot uh, smaller of an environment, and people get to ask their questions and get their uh, questions answered as well. If I would have a live FAQ on my channel for everyone, it would just be a big ass uh, shit fest of questions, I would say. So that's why I try to keep it as small as possible and I keep it for my members only right now. And if you want to become a member and be as awesome as all my cool ass members, you can click uh, join down there. Sanjari Jamshed. Hey Ola, I think you are cool. Fuck. Thank you so much. I, I don't think I'm cool. 
Victoria Martinez, hey Ola, proud to be part of your 1% or is it 2% women viewers. My husband and I watch your FAQ every Sunday morning over breakfast. Love your channel, keep up the awesome work. Now for a question, what do you think of Devin Townsend's new single, Genesis? Can't wait for your Dream Theater review, it's an amazing album. Oh, thank you so much Victoria, that's awesome to hear. The new Devin Townsend single, love it. It's, it's really crazy and it's very all over the place but I think that was the point with uh, that song it's basically like an overture of the whole album so it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit crazy, a little bit uh, over the top but it's definitely Devin, which is nice and uh, yeah, there it is and the uh, Dream Theater review, we'll have to see about that Kev's Game Force Hey Ola, did you cry at the end of Red Dead Redemption 2? No, I did not cry, because the ending was not that good, to be honest. I liked the, the ending with Arthur Morgan, but the epilogue was just... Oh, save me the hassle, okay? And I played the first game, okay? So it's not like, oh, everyone's like, oh, but it ties together, what happens up until the first game, and it's amazing, oh, epilogue and this, epilogue that. No, it was boring as shit. You shoveling shit in the barn, that was basically what you were doing. And... Uh, I don't know, it was basically like a small little after mini game which I guess was fine, it was just not as good as the, the main game with Arthur Morgan I would say, so there you go Wow That's a Don't know if you can hear that reverb but it's, uh, it's great reverb Nick Louise, sweet Ola, I'm about to order a Schecter guitar Give me a good reason to change my mind and order a solar instead. Cheers from Greece. My cat loves the cover of your album. Easy. Just uh, not order a Schecter and you order a solar guitar instead. Shit, that's... Love that. That reverb. It's nice. It's because we don't have any furniture in this house. <laughs> oh, we have this table. These couple of chairs here. Disclaimer before everyone gets pissed off uh, by Ola the Swede. Check the guitars, there's nothing wrong with them. I was just kidding, okay? If you want to check the guitar, go get a fucking check the guitar. It's just a guitar, solo guitar. It's also just a guitar. Just get them, get them all. You can, you can have a check the guitar and have a solo guitar at the same time. No one's gonna complain. Except some uh, Gibson motherfucker. Brian Messer, hi Ola, do you have any plans to release a 7 string version of the Solar V in the future? Uh, no. Just did. It's right over here. Hey Marlene. <laughs> Rivan Reborn 69. Hello, I'm returning to playing guitar after a long time without playing. I need a in amp. I am torn between Marshall Code 50, the JoJo Zombie, and the Bugera G20 Infinium. Any advice? I'm not sure I tried the Marshall Code 50. Was that did I do that in my Willa Chug or was that another Marshall Code amp? I don't know. The JoJo Zombie I tried. The Bogera G20 Infinium, I did not try. So I can't really compare these. Out of these, I don't know. The Jojo Zombie is more of like a, that's one type of sound, which can be definitely be loud and, you know, metal and all. But the Marshall Code has so many other options, you know, uh, with uh, cleans and effects and whatnot. So if you just want something all around, I would just go with the Marshall Code in this question that you're asking right here. I would probably get like a Boss Katana. I, I know I've been talking about Boss Katanas a lot of times, but it's basically for the main reason that they absolutely kick ass. And uh, now I have this Boss Katana Air here that they sent me. They were nice. I didn't have to buy one because I know they're expensive. <laughs> but it's nice. I like it. It's like, oh, it's just a plug and play. You have the wireless thingy here, so you can just like wail on it and just like... So yeah, I just like how simple it is and just like plug and fucking play. Oh, biased Ola. Okay, there are very many, many, many alternatives out there. <sighs> Fuck, you guys are breaking my balls. Jose Antonio Molina. Hi Ola, there's one particular thing that drives me mad in today's mail sometimes and I'm not into technical things so I don't really know how it really works. The question, 
why do so many albums have a very low guitar sound or like dissolved on the mix? I like, it's like a fashion thing producers do now. Why it happens? Some people talk about compressors and things like that, but could you explain to non-technical -te people? Thanks a lot. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what you're meaning at this point, but I think that you mean that guitar players may tune down more and more. And uh, back in the 90s, for instance, I think one of the only bands that actually played very, very low were Meshuga. And uh, most of the bands were in, still in standard E, you know, C, and, and uh, I think now with core and whatnot, a guitar players tune down even lower, you know, and the popularity of eight strings becoming more of a thing. So people are tuning down lower because they think it's more evil. But in my sense, I think that it's not about that, it's about the riff. Because I think a riff can be evil. A riff can be evil in standard E. And uh, you know, it's, <sighs> tuning down is more like the, uh, the lazy way of making a, uh, a shitty riff <laughs> more evil. There, I said it. Sorry. I tune down sometimes, I play drop A. That's when my riffs are shitty. <laughs> Daniel Yahil, what do you think about Jason Richardson? Oh, only one of the best technical guitar players out there that are modern and nice. <laughs> yeah, Jason Richardson is totally amazing. And I think he's also one of the spawns from the John Petrucci forum. Uh, you know, like Tom Quayle, Andy James and those guys. I was also part of that forum. Why didn't I become as good as them? I don't know. Tractor. There's a lot of tractors around here, that's nice. So yeah, incredible guitar player and uh, obviously technically flawless, I would say. Jonas Strumsrud, yo hola, I'm gonna start playing guitar now. Oh, congratulations. My goal is to start playing electric this summer. My question, is it a bad idea to start with a guitar with Floyd Rose? It's not a bad idea, it's just that it might uh, scare you that you have to uh, maintain it a lot because that's the thing with the Floyd Rose is that as soon as you need to change the strings or do any modifications, you know, the truss rod and whatnot, you, you constantly have to retune the guitar until it's in perfect tuning. So it's, it's, it's sort of like a hassle, I would say. But if you don't mind that, I would definitely start with a Floyd. I mean, it's cool. You can make a lot of cool shit with a Floyd. Wes Dodson, hey Ola, when are you gonna have some Sola guitar merch. I already have too many guitars, but I would gladly rock a t-shirt or a mug or something. I think it's my fault because we actually do have Sola guitars uh, merch. It's just that I haven't really uh, posted that much about it, but uh, we actually have a Spreadshirt store and I'll link it somewhere. I guess down there, up here, I don't know. But we have a bunch of uh, merch up there and uh, we also have this, for instance. This is, I dug this up from the laundry bin uh, because this is the only solo guitar shirt I brought with me to the house. But this is the, like the, the black metal solar guitar shirt. So this is available, you can get that one from the shop down there. There's a bunch of other shit you can get. Mark Fabrego uh, Camacho. Hi Ola England, the answerer. Oh, we're making... <laughs> it's becoming a thing, I like that. Can you make a riff of the day, the song NVIDIA? This song means a lot to me. Fear changed my life in a good way. Ah, oh, thank you Ola, you are my hero. Holy shit, okay. Because you say that, I will make it the riff of the day. I don't know if you can see it over here because the camera is far away and I'm not. And this guitar is in uh, standard E, but I think the song is on a 7 string, but you get the idea. So you play it like this. Something like that, great. Did you hear me sing? It's beautiful. Ricky Taliefier, hola, I don't see a Patreon. It's because I don't have one, but I have my YouTube membership thing, which you can get. Become a member down here. I told you, there's a bunch of shit you can do. Uh, you, you get like the guitar profile for the uh, server song. Oh, plugging myself again, Ola England, the member. I mean, you get a bunch of shit. You get the uh, weekly updates and you get uh, exclusive live streams, you get a bunch of shit. Just click join down there already. Brian Lopez, hi Ola, can you show us your car? 
Greetings from Costa Rica. Okay. I've shown my car before, but I'll show it again. There's my car. It's a Ford Mondeo. Look at those rims, man. Those. Yeah. It's a good car. It's been serving me well, that Ford. So, uh, you know, I'm actually. I, I'm not that much into cars, so I don't really care uh, that much. Oh! The Comrom. He's, my brother is coming. Oh, yay! I better hurry up. Hail and Duff, Yola, how's the new house coming along? Look at this. It's, uh, it's actually very nice, and we've been here for a week now. And, uh, you know, it's really good because it totally disconnects me from the social media world. You know, this past week I've just stayed off social media, and it just did disconnects me from the world. So I'm, uh, I'm very happy. It makes me very happy. I think I really needed this house. Ricardo Enrico, do you remember the moment when you became a pro professional guitar player? I'm not sure it happened, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> uh, I'm a professional YouTuber, I guess. It's not the same thing. Sebastian Weisse, thanks Ola for answering my question. You are like a religious icon in Bolivia. Thank you so much. But I think you're uh, referring to that uh, Christian guy that you see a lot of, you know, in South America. You know, uh, David Guetta. And that was the last question. Guys, thank you so much for uh, joining me in my new house. And uh, for the next FAQ, could you ask questions to my wife? And also ask questions that my wife would ask me. Okay, do you get it? You have questions from me to my wife and from my wife to me. And next FAQ will be a little special, okay? So, there you go. Ooh, I love that echo. Slapping. It's nice. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching and guys, I love you. See ya.